What do you think about Boots Ennis? By the way, I've been doing media events all day. I'm tapped. So a statement would be if he stops Sergey Limpignets, who's never been stopped before. Very tough, durable fighter, 16-1-1. One one. As I said before, I'm not very high on him as a fighter. But nonetheless, this will be a, a nice big step up for Boots and it says, you know, Sergey Lempignets, a former champion, 140-pound champion, until he met um, Mikey Garcia, of course, and lost that title. Since then, his last fight was really a stinker against Castillo Clayton on Showtime to be the number one contender, IBF contender, for Errol Spence. It ended in a draw. Ugh. In this case, he can crack. But the thing is, I look at Sergey Lipinets as being a 140-pound fighter masquerading around at 147. I don't think he's got the pop up there. To look at the card, though, you're going to have German and Cajas versus Javier Rodriguez. Jonathan Javier Rodriguez. I got a chance to talk to German and, German and Cajas on the uh, Zoom call. He is saying that he's going to be staying at 115 pounds. And he's trying to get the winner of um, Chocolatito and Estrada 3. And also, either the winner of um, Rungvisai and Caldres or Ioka. But we'll see, you know, because him moving over the PBC side really does kind of raise some concerns. Uh, Amantis Stanionis is taking on Tomas Delorme and, and also a big step up. I've been watching this guy for a couple of years now over on uh, PBC on uh, FS1. So now he's over here at the big leagues. Here's the card as a whole. It's going to be on Showtime. I'm going to be streaming during the three major fights. Not, of course, the full fight. That's illegal. That's copyright. But brief legal fair use highlights in between rounds, in between fights. We're going to be doing live scoring the whole nine yards. Also, after each fight, they do media Q&A like they're doing right now, but they do them after the fight. The fighters leave the ring. They go directly to the back. They sit down for about 10 minutes, and then after that, um, they sit down for about 10 minutes, talk to the media, and then after that, they go do, um, uh, you know, drug testing and, and see the doctor and everything like that. So to get back to Boots Enos, looking at the 147-pound division, if he beats Sergey Limpin yet, where does he go next? It has to be for a route for an eliminator. So far, where is he ranked? Number 12 by the, by the WBC. He's not ranked by the WBA. Number 9 by the IBF. Number 7 by the WBO. So basically, he's about 1... He's at least maybe one, possibly two fights, maybe two fights, not including this one, to be even in eliminator status. So how old is he again? 23 years old. I mean, he's still young. Chris Van Herden, Abreu. Nice little solid step ups at this point in time when he forked Mike Arnales. That was a couple of years ago. But now with this limping, yes, they got to keep that energy going. So politically, he's with Cameron Duncan. A Showtime fighter fighting on a PBC card, but not necessarily a PBC fighter. Heavy rumors. I remember last year he was flirting with top rank. So look at it like he's a bit of a free agent. But if he beats Sergey Limpignets, logically, who's next? Kavalaskis? And you got Virgil Ortiz, who's also out there. Maybe maybe him versus Castillo Clayton to be able to possibly beat, you know, Castillo Clayton cleanly. Now, we're talking about realistic fights. I'm talking about for his next fight, if he beats um, uh, Limpin Yetz. Maybe him versus Omar Figueroa Jr. If, if Omar Figueroa wins on the um, undercard of... Andy Ruiz versus Chris Arriola. I doubt him to be Mo Hooker. 
I doubt it'll be Mo Hooker. It's going to be interesting to see, though. We're going to be here on Saturday night covering the card. Did I tell y'all about the time I got into some beef uh, in Philly? It was some shit had went down. I was fucking Fred. <sighs> fucking Fred. It's all he's always involved in some shit. Well, anyway. All right. Thank you, everyone, for holding there. on. Uh, we, I'm we glad really they stopped. Appreciate everyone's I mean, they started. We've had some intermissions here. Let's go. Uh, but bringing to the stage in uh, in an excellent Biggie Smalls. Uh,